Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we've got to show that u minus 3 all squared plus v squared equals a constant k squared. Now I've left here what we worked out in the previous part, part a of the question, just in case you uh, need to use it, or you do need to use it because it says hence. So w we knew was equal to u plus iv, and we also showed that it turned out to be equal to minus 32x squared plus 40xi plus 8, all divided by 16x squared plus 1. So if you haven't had a chance to do this question anyway and want to have a go, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll show you the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So all I'm going to do is take the real part u as being the real part of this complex number and v as being the imaginary part. Substitute u and v in terms of x into here. Hopefully we'll get a constant at the end. So that's basically where we're going with this. So first of all then what we've got here is u minus 3 all squared plus v squared and it's going to be equal to, well, u is going to be the real part, and that's going to be minus 32x squared plus 8, all divided by 16x squared plus 1. So what we've got here then is all of 8 minus 32x squared, and that's divided by 16x squared plus 1. So that's the u part there, and then we've got minus 3, and that is all squared. Then we've got plus v squared, and v is the imaginary part, and the imaginary part is just going to be 40x over 16x squared plus 1. So here we've got 40x all over 16x squared plus 1, and all of that is squared. Now, to save time, I've written out each of the stages for you. So what we've got here next is that you can see that I put it over the lowest common multiple here of the denominator, which is going to be 16x squared plus 1 all squared. It's going to feature, obviously, in both of these two terms. For this last term, it's got to be 40x all squared, which is 1600x squared. For this one here, all I've done is I've written 8 minus 32x squared, and then we've got minus 3 times the denominator here. Next, I will just clean up the inside of this bracket, and if you do that, you should find you get 5 minus 80x squared. Okay, so we've got 5 minus 80x squared, all squared, plus then the 1600x squared. Next, I'd want to expand the bracket out and group it with the 1600x squared. If you do that, that's what you should find you get. Now, in order to get a constant squared, I've got to assume that in some way or another, 16x squared plus 1 all squared must feature in here. But I notice that 25 is, first of all, a common factor of each of these terms. And if I pull out that 25, then we get this, okay? And as expected, if you were to square out 16x squared plus 1 all squared, you would find you get this quartic expression here. So that means that what we've got here is it's equal to 25 times the 16x squared plus 1 all squared, all over the 16x squared plus 1 all squared. So these two factors cancel out, leaving us then with 25. So just put this equals 25. And so from this, it follows that k must be equal to 5. Okay?